Kevin Samuels must have read my book back in 2008 called God Don't Like Fake People because I've been talking about what he talking about for years since I was a baby. I could tell that most people was fake and uh, the name I go by on that book is called Cedar Solomon. My face is on the book. It's called God Don't Like Fake People. And I've been talking about the same stuff Kevin Samuels talking about in a different way. He's giving more statistics and facts, which is necessary. I didn't know all that, all them stats, but I still don't know all the stats. But I knew in a sense, I could sense the stats in my heart, you know. I can tell that most people were under a spell and uh, that relationships and families and friendships and I could sense that women wasn't men not no good but I could sense that women was delusional I could sense that women was uh unreasonable unrealistic most of them and uh and how that and how that was affecting and how that's affecting relationships, families, kids, and most of all, it's, it's affecting their life, their time. You know, it, it's not easy being, you know, women going through life, putting a lot of energy into their beauty and never experiencing real love. A lot of women never experience real love. Yeah, they get a lot of sex. They get a lot of money, gifts, but them guys giving that to other girls as well that they physically attracted to. But most of these guys are operating in a lower nature, meaning they doing acts of generosity for sexual favors, you know, and it's looking like, oh, he like me, oh, he nice, or I'm so special, I can get any man I want. No, you can get almost any ham bone penis that you want but you can't get any man you want to marry you and to take you seriously so they got to get that under control they got to get that under control you know understand that in this world man most women they're gonna get a lot of hand bone a lot of penis they get a lot of penis anywhere anytime you know and they love going after married men but i've been talking about this for years so a lot of people keep hitting me up and asking me am i kevin samuel's brother blah 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 and uh i don't know if we related or not but i've been talking about what he's been saying since i was a kid and and no i didn't and then everybody was bashing coming at me I wasn't even on social media. I was writing books. I was writing four books a year, talking about women, you know. I was like the first, what they call red pill. I was like the first red pill guy to come out. You can look me up, Alan Williams, the Millionaire. Look, Story Tree, I got the book called Story Tree. Came out in 2004. Story Tree, S-T-O-R-E-T-R-Y. Check that out. I got a book called, um, I got stories you one, two, three. I got a book called Karma is God's Girlfriend. <laughs> I was writing about this stuff. This is not new for me. And you look at it, you say, he was talking the same stuff. Back then, I was the first one. When I tell you I was the only one at that time, it's like I was 20 years ahead of my time. You know, and I'm not boasting in that. I'm just letting you know that I understand where he coming from because I've been talking about it for years. You know what I'm saying? I was a baby. I was a kid talking about this stuff. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, follow. Check me out on Instagram, Alan Reagan. I'll holler at y'all later.